They're not nasty old Taco Bell. <laughs> That's delicious. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Christian Homestead. My name is Jason. We're in the kitchen today, and Angela and I, we've been married for 19 years, okay? Um, but I was I was uh, 21 when we got married, so do the math. And uh, <laughs> But uh, we were just young, we were kids, you know, didn't have a dang bit of money. But sometimes we like to go get some fast food, whatever, but you didn't have no money, so you're trying to be cheap, right? So where do you go? Taco Bell. <laughs> That's where you go to get cheap food. Especially when you ain't got no money and you're young. You don't care what you're eating. Honestly, you know, we'll just eat whatever kind of junk we can find. And at Taco Bell, you can always eat cheap. And we used to love to get these grilled stuffed burritos at Taco Bell. It's like three bucks for one. So you could get out of there for six bucks at the time. Now, obviously it's 19 years ago. I'm sure they're not three dollars anymore. I wouldn't know how to eat Taco Bell in years. But, uh... <laughs> But now Angela is like, you know what, we can make them ourselves. So we're over here. We got, our, we got our homemade salsa out. We've got some stuff cooking up the stove. So Angela Kay's going to take it over and show you how she makes her own grilled stuff for burritos. Okay, I've cooked some rice. You can put rice in it or you don't have to. Your That's favorite rice doesn't matter. We use jasmine. Yes, we use jasmine. And this is just a pound of ground beef. I'm using 80-20. And I've drained the fat off. And I've added about three tablespoons of my homemade taco seasoning, which we will link the video. There is a video we have for that, yep. And I've added about a half a cup of water. And I've cooked it until it's gotten nice and thick. And now I'll empty this out and then I'll take you over and show you how we build these. Okay, we've got some burrito sized tortillas here. You can do homemade or store bought either way. It is the store bought we did today because it's quick. Yes. Just quick. And I'm going to start with some refried beans. You want to put them... Do not fill these too full. <laughs> you want to put them at the top part. Not, not all the way in the middle. Like one step off from the middle. Don't fill too full though. Yep, be careful. Because they will... The stuff will come ooching out everywhere. Ooching? Ooching. Yes, I said ooching. That's my word. I'm doing two at a time. What'd you say I fill one though? We'll, fill, we'll do yeah. the others a little bit. So you put, put your favorite toppings in there, yes. right? Yes. I'm doing refried beans, seasoned ground beef, and then some sharp cheddar cheese. Yep, get some grated, ch grated cheddar cheese. Now, you can do Monterey Jack, you could pepper do jack. pepper jack. Whatever, this is just sharp Whatever, whatever yeah. you want. Yep. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of rice. Now, like I said, rice is optional. You can do rice if you wanna do rice or you don't have to do rice. Mm -hmm. We like rice in them, it adds a little yeah, bit it more really, substance. It's, it's makes it a more well-rounded burrito. Yes. It really does. Now we add a little bit of our home canned salsa. Delicious salsa. Just a little bit. You don't want to make it too goopy. Right. Yep. Now, and I already made a mess. <laughs> but it'll be okay. Now we'll add a little bit of sour cream. Just a little. Yes, my hands are clean. <laughs> no, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> now I'm going to add just a little bit of lettuce. When you when you cook, you use your hands. That's just what happens. Yes. If you if you try to cook without using your hands, you're you're gonna wind up messing everything up. <laughs> All, right. All right, fold them up. Now the trick is in the roll. That's the key. The trick is in the roll. That's why I can't do these. You want to tuck in on both sides. Bring the top over. Squeeze in really tight. I, I'll turn it this way so you can see better. Squeeze in really tight right here and see it started to split there but that's but okay it should roll over. It, but it rolled over that's interesting I can never do these so turn it in 
and then we will put take them over, put them in a hot pan, and grill them up. It's quite impressive. Okay, we've got our dry hot skillet over medium high heat. Let it get really hot. Yes, let it get really hot. Put your seam side down in the pan. You should hear it just a little bit of a, a light sizzle. You can, in a 10 inch skillet, you can fit two mm -hmm. in. And you just let them grill on, on both sides until they're nice and brown and the seam is sealed shut. It's like a dark brown, actually. Yes. Right? You get a dark brown. You get a nice, you want a nice brown on this, you're already starting to get some brown mm -hmm. and it's already sealed shut. Yeah. That's quite impressive. Are you ready for this beautifulness? Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Look, Look at there. that. Perfect. Look at there. That's nice. Look at that. That's awesome. And they're completely sealed shut. Yep, they just are. like the ones you get from Taco Bell. Alright, now I'm gonna do the taste test, right? Look at that. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful burrito. Angela K just crushed it. Yeah. They're not nasty old Taco Bell. <laughs> that's delicious. Wow. All right. That's an awesome, awesome burrito, Angela K. A wonderful job. Hey, honestly, just a little bit of prep work ahead of time, and then them suckers come together just like that. All right. I mean, about a minute on the on the pan. That's it. And so just a little bit of prep work, and a few minutes on the pan. You can bust out a bunch of grilled stuff burritos. So if you got family, a bunch of kids coming around, or maybe you just felt having a burrito. Burritos are pretty dang cool, right? So that's a really good way to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. Hey, my name is Jason. Smart one over there. Her name's Angela K. It's Art of Creation Homestead. We love you all. God bless you and goodbye.